have a cookie sheet available and uh, greased. All right, so let's throw the cauliflower in. You're also going to want to reserve uh, three-fourths of a cup of the cheese mozzarella to top it with. So I didn't do that, so I'm just going to take roughly that much and put it away. And as usual, I have not tried this recipe before, so this is a first timer for me. So I hope it's good, because <laughs> otherwise... This episode's probably going in the crapper. All right, oregano, garlic, well, I just made it smell a thousand times better. And unlike me, you should probably use a bigger bowl because I'm getting some spillage. tripod is. Alright, once everything is good and mixed, I 
always cover my cookie sheets with aluminum foil because it's just a way, way, way easier cleanup afterwards. That looks pretty well mixed to me. Cookie sheet, my aluminum foil. I'm just gonna spray the heck out of it. Oh, we're almost out. That might be the last of that. to do is sort of plop all this down on the cookie sheet. Press it down. So it's even. Too thick, but thick enough. You know what a breadstick looks like. Remember those really good ones from Pizza Hut with the cheese all over? Oh, goodness. All right. We're not thinking about that. We're thinking about how yummy this is going to taste. All right. Then you're going to pop it in your oven for about 20 minutes or so. Just sort of check on it if it looks like it's good and brown. Then we'll add the cheese. So let's pop this bad boy in the oven. Okay, mine went for about 23 minutes. So what you're going to want to do is let it cool for five minutes. Take it out of the oven. Keep the oven on because you're going to put it back in and let it cool for about five minutes. It looks, it smells really good. <laughs> okay, so let that cool for five minutes and then you're just gonna add your cheese and pop it back in and for about five minutes, I think. I'll check the recipe, I'll get back. Okay, I kinda lied. <laughs> Start your broiler. So what you're gonna do with this is Sorry, getting a spatula. Okay. You're going to loosen the edges. Ow, that's still hot. And we're going to see if we can just pop it out. Turn it over and pop it out. I'm not sure with the uh, aluminum foil. Hoping. All right. Turn it over and hopefully pop it out. Nope. Okay. Here, do this. want to use more grease on the cookie sheet. Okay. Just a little bit of damage. That's okay. Still mostly here. Pizza cutter. You 
going to cut it into your breadsticks. Use a lot more of this. This, by the way, is a misto. I don't know if you know what they are, but they're fantastic. All you have to do is fill it with olive oil or your oil of choice, pump it up. There's your sprayer. It's awesome. I think it's almost that all the way. All right, so my spatula. I'm imagining these are going to be very, very delicate. Yeah, this one's already broken. Carefully place them back on the cookie sheet. This goes back in the oven under the broiler. Oh, wait. Ah! It's been a long time since I've done a show. Okay. Take your extra cheese, sprinkle it on top. We'll put that bad boy under the broiler. It's the second time I've said bad boy in this episode. Until it starts to brown, use probably about five minutes. This was about right for my oven. Here's the finished product. And I always dip my breadsticks in marinara. The marinara that I choose is Mazetta homemade style marinara because it only has four carbs for a half a cup. That's the lowest that I found so far. So, pretty sure you want to eat these while they're warm. I'm pretty sure cold cauliflower doesn't translate well. Mm. Good. They're a little mushy. I would probably recommend cooking the actual cooking time longer than uh, 23 minutes. I would probably go. It looked brown on the top, but it's it's still kind of mushy. It might solidify upon sitting, but I would probably cook them maybe five, seven more minutes uh, past the uh, 20. What did I say? 23 minutes that I cooked them because they are a little mushy. You can mush the cauliflower inside. But it is not unpleasant. Mm. Yeah, I can see if that it is formed up a little bit more. It would definitely have the breadstick texture. So it's not bad. I just need to cook it longer. So uh, per breadstick, I think we made 12, so the recipe per breadstick would come out to about 150 calories per breadstick. I think the net carbs was like three, three whole carbs, and then there was 1.75 or so. It's one point something net carbs, so it's, it's really, really low, and... 
can get it to firm up. Mm. I think you just need to let it sit because that's already a little bit firmer than the other part that I had. So, Pizza Hut it ain't, but uh, you know, we can't fool ourselves. We know cauliflower does not equal bread, but it's nice to have somewhat of an alternative. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for joining me on Low Carb Cafe, and I'll see you next time.